<laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Undertale. This is Reaper Hunter 23. We last left off right after we killed Metaton, and yeah, that was mildly depressing. I kind of like him. The elevator is in use. This is a cool background. I like this background. It's neat. <clears throat> this area in general is just pretty cool. I like it. Oh, I don't trust the leaf thing. Stupid flower. Seriously, the beginning of the game ruined that. Another safe pod? For walking 10 feet? Alright, if you insist. Uh, wait a minute. This seems suspicious. Oh, and these stupid yellow. It's a golden flower. I, I, I'm gonna set you on fire. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Thanks. Key. You take the key and put it in your phone on your phone's keychain. It's a note. How to help yourself to anything you want. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Wasn't it just like that at the beginning? With unopened containers of snails. Oh god. Let's use fire magic instead. Oh great. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Uh-huh. It's a golden flower. Presents. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. It's almost a heart-shaped box. I'll take it. Got the heart-shaped locket. Open the other present, you dunce. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah, let's go. That's in. I'm getting real sick of these flowers. I'ma kill them. I'ma set you all on fire. Room under renovations, again. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain, again. Askel's journal. All current pages says it's a nice day today. All, oh, all the current page says this is a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's just a chair. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs. What the? It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a king-sized bed. Of course it is. Despite everything, it's still you. I'm gonna set these flowers ablaze, I swear. You unlocked the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 20 o or 21x a data circle on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Thanks. The sick human had only one request. 
to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. So the next day, the next day, the human died. Press F to pay respect. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Is that right? With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with a blow after or with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. Destroy us all! Destroy us all! But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. What a good Samaritan. Wounded, Azriel stumbled. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go because he will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Well, this is all fine and dandy for you, except, you know, I want to stay alive. You're going to be free. Oh, they just took me to the other side. Thanks for that exposition. Last corridor. Oh, is that right? This is cool looking. Sands? Don't fail us though. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now. You will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Yeah. Okay. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. You look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? 
And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Meh. I'ma survive and go home. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Oh, bye, Sans. Is that the last time I'm gonna get to see him? I hope not. Turn room. Wow, save points for days. What's down here? Ooh. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Hunter. It's empty. Oh, well. Oh, I guess those other ones were the humans before me. Which are different kind of souls. Interesting. Alright, cool. Oh god. Dumb to dumb. Uh oh. Is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. You know, nothing personal, but I'm not a fan of these flowers. One of them tried to kill me. How do you? How can I? Oh. I so badly want to say would you like a cup of tea, but you know how it is. I have to die. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. He's gonna throw something deadly at me. You know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. Ah, you're pretty. You're pretty pleasant about that. It's a fun nice of it. All the save points. Another throne covered by a white sheet. I guess that was Toriel's before then. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Well, I mean, I was never really that trepidatious about the dentist. Are you ready? Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Steam stuff? I'm not ready either. Oh, is that right? You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped in it. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Alright, so I'm gonna try just going for broke at first, but I'm probably gonna have to run back to a place to buy some healing items. I'll see. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Can I adjust my volume real quick? It seems your journey is finally over. I didn't hear the, or I didn't read the alarm. You're filled with 
extermination, of course I am. Human. Yeah. Oh. It is nice to meet you. Goodbye. What was that? Oh, you look... Oh, I don't even get a spare option? Get out of here, man. Talk. There was nothing to say. Oh, there is so much stuff going on on the screen. <sighs> Ow. I don't have anything to heal myself with. This is... I'm definitely gonna have to go get some items. So toasted. He's not even saying anything. I don't know if there's any dialogue to exhaust. Whatever, I'll just fight him. I'm probably not. Chances are I'm not gonna beat this my first try. The really high chances are since I have one HP. Huh. Cannot end now, stay the time. Alright, so whatever long backtrack I have to do to get to uh, the nearest merchant, I'm gonna go do that now. See you in a bit.